Life in a world that keeps changing Think that it's progress you're making Copy and paste pretty faces All the time Picture so perfect we play Hello wonderful people, welcome back again to Anointed Lady TV The home of news and politics And we drop news every day And we also react to every videos that comes our way if it is your first time in this channel you are highly welcome thank you so much for stopping by and if you are returning subscribers we appreciate you for your massive support and we say may god richly bless you all for supporting this channel and if you haven't subscribed please kindly smash on the subscribe button put on the bell so you get to know anytime we drop a new video i have a video to present to you this very moment and i will be watching that video with you and after watching let's drop our opinion constructively at the comment section like our videos and also share our videos if possible bye for now One consensus movement today gathered fulani from various organs and group to find lasting solution to the allegation towards fulani in general the gathering agreed that henceforth any fulani that commits kidnapping cattle rustling and others Will be presented to the security outfit for punishment like always the essence of this gathering today today is is not like the usual press conference but it's rather a meeting uh, of various fulani organizations various fulani leaders and their different respective states local governments and if you like uh, kingdom that are here basically to discuss the problems and possibly prefer solutions to also the problems of Fulani. Uh, we are aware that uh, the Fulanis in Nigeria today have been blackmailed, so badly blackmailed that whatever happens, anything bad, is referred to the Fulanis. And we also know that it is not every Fulani man that is a bad person. Just like it's not every Hausa, Kanuri, Thief, uh, Idoma, Igala, or any other tribe that, that are bad. You have the bad, you have the good, and the ugly in every community, in every religion, in every tribe. So we feel it is so unfair for the generality of Fulanese to be so blackmailed and be seen as a threat. To national security. This is the essence of this meeting that you are here from various states uh, belonging to various Fulani organizations and individually various Fulani traditional leaders. What we are expected to do here today is to bring out the problems, like I said, and possible prospects of the security challenges. First, the issue of kidnapping for ransom. Second, the issue of banditry. Third, the issue of cattle wrestling. Fourth, the issues of <coughs> incessant killing of Fulanese by either the other tribes within the north, other tribes within the south, southwest and the southeast or even security agencies that could kill in the name of doing their job uh, either innocently, deliberately, or mistakenly. So, where are, we have, where are these problems coming from? Like I said, it has been alleged to Fulanis. So let's hear from you. Is it true? that you people are involved in kidnapping for ransom? Is it true that you people are involved in banditry? Is it true that the Fulanis are involved in cattle wrestling? Is it all Fulanis that are involved? Is it the bad eggs among the good ones? How do we get to know this and how do we solve this problem? And what are the challenges you as Fulanis are facing as humans, as Nigerians that have right just like any other Nigerian. What are the problems that you are facing? 
And how do you think we will get to the end of this? Because, like you know, the government is doing everything humanly possible to curve mm -hmm. insecurity in Nigeria. But every day, the thing continues to get escalated. But we also come to understand that I used to ask myself, how can a Fulani man who live in a remote bush, how does he get access to sophisticated weapon? I have served the military for over 20 years. But as I'm seated, I don't have a personal weapon. And believe me, as I'm seated, I don't know where to go and get one. Even for my personal self-protection. I don't have one. I don't know where to go and get one. So you wonder how and where Someone that is in the remotest beach, bush, carrying sophisticated weapon, not just ordinary AK-47, anti-tank, uh, mortar, you know, GPMGs, general purpose machine guns, SMGs, you know, AK-47, AK-49, and other varieties of, in fact, hand grenades. I wonder how and where. I know the remote Fulani man that is in the remotest village does not know where to access this thing. Somebody somewhere is bringing this thing. Who is that person or who are those people? This, if we decide and agree to work as a team, it is for the betterment of us as people it's for the betterment of the Fulanis as a community. It will be for the betterment of northern Nigeria and by extension Nigeria. I know the Fulanis are very industrious. Very, very industrious. Are naturally intelligent. Are naturally gifted. Put a Fulani man in anywhere. You can't compete with him in anything you are doing. Because God has provided him with the intelligence. After hours of discussion the meeting agreed that but not too happy with the situation you can you've heard the complaints you've heard the cries from all the fulani leaders association leaders and traditional leaders you've heard their complaints and uh, uh, more like we've also heard what we have agreed with them First, the issue of uh, cattle wrestling, the issue of kidnapping for ransom, the issue of banditry, and also on the issue of uh, uh, destructions of lives and properties of the innocent Fulanese, based on complaints of some of some few of the Fulanese are perpetrating some criminal uh, act. We've also you've heard that we've agreed first the leadership of Fulani associations and the traditional leaders of the Fulanis, that is the Argos, have agreed that um, whoever commit whatever offense, for as long as he's a Fulani and they know about him, they have promised to make that person uh, or that, that the information available to us for onward uh, dissemination to security agencies and uh, possibly various governments at whatever level so that that person or group of people will be arrested and uh, face uh, whatever judgment they deserve. But the issue of profiling of Fulani community generally as criminals, uh, that they have agreed, or we have all agreed, that we will all work towards ensuring that that bad profiling of Fulani community uh, will have to stop. And that was why they are cooperating, and they have also promised to go back and disseminate this information and also work assiduously to ensuring that uh, issues uh, of crime and criminality that will involve any Fulani son or daughter will be exposed by the Fulani leaders themselves so as to assist the government in curbing the present, this present security challenges as being experienced most especially in northern Nigeria. So we want to thank the Fulani leaders, the uh, association leaders, and the traditional leaders for accepting to cooperate with us and by extension with the government in finding a lasting solution to this, or to rather the present security 
challenges has been faced in northern Nigeria and Nigeria uh, at large. So this is to say the resolution. And also, they have asked government to pay compensation to losses incurred by Fulanis at, in various states and at various levels uh, due to uh, either the overzealousness of local security uh, pe personnel or even the major security agents themselves or both combined put together. Uh, they are asking or the community generally coming to destroy their lives or properties. They are asking for compensation. And we will, as a body, pursue this to a logical conclusion by the special grace of God to see that they are duly compensated. You, you cannot get, you, there's nowhere in the world that you lose uh, some certain amount of either cattle, money, or anything, and you expect to get everything back. But at least in a situation where you lost 10 and you get 5 in return, uh, you've been compensated. At least that will give you a little comfort. And you know that um, you've been, I mean, even if it is government, the government is looking at you with, uh, with passion and then uh, uh, knowing that you are also a citizen. So we will pursue that by the special grace of God to see that uh, uh, those that lost properties are compensated and also those that lost lives get compensation either by the state's government or at the federal level. But we can guarantee this house that we will follow this to a logical uh, conclusion. Thank you very much for your patience. But meanwhile, uh, uh, Damasani, who is an elder in the north, like we said, and also the technical advisor to Northern Consensus Movement, will also say this. Uh, I mean, for the listening or watching viewers of the Hausa community, he will respond and then give back and then we'll be closing. Thank you.